In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know to find, fix, and drive your first car in DayZ. The vehicle controls are in the description below. If you do enjoy the video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Vehicle spawns are all over the map, with more spawn points being in larger towns and cities. The fastest way to find a working vehicle is to use an app called iSurvive and change the filters to vehicles. Now you can see all the potential vehicle spawn points on any map that you are currently playing on. Keep in mind that the spawn points are random, so if you aren't finding any vehicles, they either haven't spawned at those locations or someone already beat you to it. To get a car running, you'll need a battery, radiator and a spark plug. You'll also need a container of some kind to fill up the radiator with water. This doesn't just have to be water from wells, you can use water from ponds and streams. Keep filling it up until the gauge is all the way to the left on the radiator symbol on the dash, or until your character stops the animation every time you try to fill it up. The Humvee only requires an igniter plug and a car battery. The M3S truck only requires a truck battery. The most common places to find all these items you need to get vehicles running are in garages and sheds. Spark plugs can be tricky to see and I usually find them spawning on shelves. To avoid missing them, open your inventory while walking near shelves and keep an eye on the vicinity. Additional parts such as doors, hood, trunk and spare wheels can be found on vehicle racks. You can use tools to lock and unlock parts onto vehicles. A screwdriver can be used to lock the radiator and the battery. A wrench can be used to lock doors, hood and trunk onto the vehicle. And the tire iron, well, locks on the wheels, including the spare. When the items are locked onto the vehicle, they will display this little wrench symbol. The blowtorch will fix the engine and vehicle body panels. You can also use epoxy to fix the body panels. To repair the tyres, you'll need a tyre repair kit. Keep in mind that once an item is ruined, you can no longer repair it and once you take it off the vehicle, you won't be able to put it back on. You can fill up any container with gasoline from any of the gas pumps except this gas station on Livonia. The engine in the Sarka is in the trunk. The Olga has a working clock displaying the current time in-game on the server you're playing. The fuel tanks for every vehicle is located on the passenger side except for the Olga where it's located on the driver's side. If you get your car stuck, you can push the vehicle forward or backwards. <laughs> Holding shift while driving makes the vehicle go faster. And if you want to learn how to build your first base in Daisy, you should definitely watch this.